So the robots are coming and they're going to take over the entire human race. Hi guys, welcome back to As We Speak. Today we're going to talk about the future and it's something we all worry about. And when we think about the future, we think about the virtual reality, we think about the robots and we think about the artificial intelligence and we're ambushed with this one big beast of a word, singularity. That fateful point where technology develops at an exponential rate to overtake human intelligence. So I'm very happy to have Mr. Paul Epping, the Dubai ambassador of the American-based Singularity University here with us today. And uh, Paul is also the co-founder of a company called EQ Exponential. Uh, thank you for being with me, Paul. <coughs> thank you, Karishma, for uh, inviting me. So, Paul, can you explain <coughs> singularity in layman's terms? And are we really going to lose all our jobs? This is a really important um, subject to, um, to talk about, to discuss. Please, everybody who is listening to that, don't be so dystopian. Th th there is a lot of discussions currently about robots, about artificial intelligence, virtual reality, um, etc. Um, how that uh, how that evolves and what all amazing things that can bring to us you know instead of being afraid of it you could embrace it and work together with people who are developing these new artifacts these new things you know how how can we as human beings collaborate um, coexist with the new uh, stuff that is coming up. Just to give you an example, every four months, right. the medical knowledge doubles. So imagine where we are in 2027 or 2028, is what you just mentioned. We are about one trillion times f further in terms of medical knowledge. So imagine that for a minute. And there is no, no doctor, no physician, whatsoever who can keep up with that increase of knowledge so you need things like artificial intelligence to help a doctor or a nurse or a healthcare provider in general um, to, to make a right di diagnosis or to come up with a right treatment um, due to technology our world is getting better and better and better and we need the technology to solve our grand challenges in the world Yes. Or the SDGs. Yeah, technology can help us to solve that. What about climate change, education, healthcare, uh, clean water? Um, those things need technology to be able to manage that for us and to, to turn it around. Climate change has to be turned around. A lot of things will be taken over by, let's say, exponential technologies. Well, the repetitive jobs that you don't want to do anyway. You know? Right. So why would you do that? And, um, but a lot of jobs that we don't even know yet will come. And um, we were so afraid when the, the, the computers came about, uh, they will take over our jobs and whatever. But it's never been so many jobs because of uh, computational um, uh, technology. Because you have to think about what kind of new jobs are needed. In the, in the future. And it leads us to, I think, an important part in education, which is it doesn't make any sense, any sense to pump the brains of children and students full with content that they can find everywhere. Right. And then you said, well, singularity. Singularity is that point in time that Ray Kurzweil predicts around 2040 is that artificial intelligence surpasses human us. intelligence. Human intelligence. And not that it is taken over, it surpasses it. Right. And there's a difference. What is intelligence? And what are we talking about in terms of intelligence, you know? Uh, for instance, if you have self self driving cars, they're driving around, you know, and a self driving car, autonomous car, doesn't know that you and I don't like it to be killed by that car. You right. know what I mean? That yes, they don't like, that they don't understand that we don't like to die. Uh, meaning that there is another level of intelligence that, that needs to, to be include, right. included. 
which means, for instance, emotional intelligence right. or spatial intelligence. Right. Um, so there is a lot of areas of intelligence that at this moment we are far away from machines being able to do that. Yes, machines can, can make better music than human beings can do. That is already done in labs and whatever, you know. And paintings, they are getting better and better and in, in, in being creative in terms of paintings. It's incredible what machines can do. But the question here is, does that artifact, that machine who is making a nice painting or a, a beautiful piece of music, does he like it? It's right. a different question. Right. And that is what we have to talk about. So. That point in the future is that um, intelligence, our what we call IQ, will, yeah, machines will surpass that because they are way faster, and but also able now to broaden that. Our our brains, we have trillions and trillions of connections between our neurons, and so that is that point in time, somewhere at the hori horizon. Right. that we call singularity.